Welcome to World War II Chronicles, a weekly tribute to America's fighting men and women in commemoration of the Second World War. These programs are narrated by Ed Herlihy and are based on the news broadcasts of the war period from the recorded sound collection of the National Archives in Washington, D.C. Winning the Battle of the Atlantic was seen by Allied and Axis powers alike as vital to winning the war. The Atlantic was the only route for Britain to bring in necessary supplies and for the U.S. to take the war to Germany. The German Navy sought to deny the Atlantic to the Allies by using submarines, known as U-boats, to sink Allied ships crossing the ocean. By the spring of 1942, the U-boat command was nearing its goal of severing supply lines between the United States and Britain. There is more bad news from the Battle of the Atlantic. Enemy submarines during the past week torpedoed three medium-sized American merchant ships off our eastern coast. The Navy announces that four more ships have been sunk by Axis submarines. Bulletin from the Associated Press. The administration today announced the sinking of the freighter Jarvis Bay in the mid-Atlantic. At the suggestion of the British, the U.S. Navy set up a partial convoy system off the east coast on April 1, 1942. Merchant ships would be organized in groups and escorted by destroyers and aircraft carriers. Now the officers return to his station. Perhaps we can uh, grab him for just a minute and get him to tell us what the general situation is here this morning as to the mission of these aircraft that are going to be launched. We have a friendly Allied convoy not far from us, and our patrols, as they scout out over the horizon looking for the deadly U-boat, will be giving them protection in the vital task which they are carrying out. Convoys proved to be an effective defense against U-boat attacks. During the war, German submarines forced only one convoy to turn back. However, U-boats continued to enact a harsh toll in terms of sunken ships. Shipping losses continued to grow, as 30 new U-boats each month were sent to terrorize Allied convoys. The Battle of the Atlantic would rage for over a year before advances made in submarine detection and maritime weapons systems would give the Allies a decisive advantage, making them the champions of the sea. I'm Ed Hurley. Join me next time for World War II Chronicles. World War II Chronicles was produced by the American Veterans Center and Radio America in cooperation with the National Archives. To listen to more episodes, subscribe on iTunes or visit AmericanVeteransCenter.org. We need your help to keep the legacy of our World War II generation alive. Visit AmericanVeteransCenter.org to make a donation to support World War II Chronicles and the ongoing work of the American Veterans Center.